Hi everyone, today we are honored to have our special guest here today, Mr. Joseph Molina, Executive Director of the Veterans Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Molina has a very long bio, so I'm just going to read a little bit about him and you can uh, read more about his intro uh, below the channel and uh, currently serving as Executive Director of v Veterans Chamber of Commerce. Mr. Molina is an Army vet served at, as the training manager while stationed in Alaska. And uh, he received his bachelor's degree with emphasis in psychology while in active duty. He also holds a master's degree in management with HR focus and uh, he has started his Metro College Online as a private training platform that provides entrepreneurship and leadership training. Um, and it goes on and on. So, um, Mr. Molina, I wanted to ask you about, um, you know, uh, Hope Picks Global is a foundation that uh, provides assistance for victims and survivors of domestic abuse, human trafficking, and sexual assault. And um, I'm sure that uh, we all know um, that um, in California, Attorney General uh, Xavier Becerra has um, mentioned on his website about uh, the expansion on the border from um, firearm trafficking, drug trafficking, and now expanded to human trafficking. And uh, you are located, you know, on the West Coast and, uh, you know, in California. So I'm sure that is a big problem. And uh, um, the industry itself, it evolves about $150 billion annual uh, proceeds globally. And that's why everyone is going into that. Unfortunately, um, as you know, it's, it's the topic like the news would not like to talk about regarding uh, the army and the military and the veterans. So for instance, like the Navy, as far as I know that um, when they get uh, uh, parked at uh, a certain port, they will be uh, receiving a briefing about certain restricted areas, which includes, you know, um, restriction about prostitution and sex uh, sex uh, sex trafficking that involves human trafficking. Unfortunately, we all know that's not happening. So I wanted today to um, kind of have your um, perspective, being a veteran, being now the executive director of the Veterans Chamber of Commerce, especially of your business business mind. Uh, you know, for as the entrepreneur as well as the business uh, side, how. Do you think it's affecting the business, in particularly to the West Coast? And uh, from the veteran standpoint of view, how would you uh, think would be a way that we could all do um, to to prevent uh, something like this from happening uh, on our side? Because we all know that you know it is a big industry and it's affecting. Uh, young woman and uh, that could be our wives, our sisters, our daughters and it's a community problem and uh, we need to address, it, address this together so that we can be stronger and fight it together and provide the freedom that they all deserve. So um, thank you for listening to me. We'll hand this over to Mr. Molina and have him explain uh, to us about that. Thank you. Okay, so. From a business point of view, sex trafficking is a $150 billion in an annual global industry. How do you think it can affect businesses? True. There's a lot of money, there's a lot of money to be made and people make a lot of money doing, doing that. Human trafficking is not a business. Human trafficking is something that needs to be stopped. You know, something that people, it's not a business like selling a product, selling a, a cupcake. So that's something that is wrong and needs to be stopped. So it cannot be perceived as a business, no. Okay, so what is the veteran standpoint on military protocols about port briefings? Well, the uh, commanders uh, are, are around the globe are very, are very aware, and we recognize that they're very aware of letting the troops know where, where are the, the, the spots to avoid. So we want to congratulate and, and and thank all the commanders for supporting this effort. 
However, we would like for the commanders to keep more in touch with our organizations, such as uh, this one, who are keeping track of more current uh, locations where human trafficking is taking place. So a, a, an, a, an increased collaboration and communication between the organizations in those areas and the commanders should be increased. To action, I mean, what can the audience do to help? Definitely participate, become aware that this is an issue to support um, by providing volunteering time or uh, providing sponsorships, financial sponsorships. Uh, so keep an eye on the websites um, and see how you can participate uh, again as a uh, donating your time or donating some of your financial support.